Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sandy Beauty here and I'm back with another video. So today I'm really excited because I'm gonna be reviewing the new Makeup Forever HD Skin Undetectable Foundation. And I've been hearing so much good things about this foundation, like all over TikTok, on YouTube, on Instagram, everywhere. I hope it matches, I think it will. So let's just get into the video because I'm really excited. I already have my eyes done so that is out of the way so we can just hop right into the foundation portion. A little bit of specs about this foundation. It's 24 hour wear. It's supposed to be long wearing, crease proof, mask proof, sweat proof. It, it honestly sounds like the ultimate foundation. It's a medium to full coverage, semi-matte yet luminous foundation. And it also says that it's great for normal combination or oily skin. So we will see. Just by the claims alone, it sounds like it is the ultimate foundation and we will see. Before I go ahead with foundation, I'm just gonna go in with my primer. This is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer and I love this primer so much. No matter what foundation I am using, I always use this primer to prep my skin. I am more on the normal to oily side, so I'm really excited to see how this foundation holds up with my skin. I'm actually gonna be leaving this foundation on for a few hours just to see how it holds up. It's claiming to be long wear, sweat proof, mask proof, so we are gonna really see about that. So I love a foundation. I love a foundation with a pump. This is my favorite thing when it comes to foundations. If it has a pump, I am so happy. But this is very much reminding me of the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Pump. You can actually buy a pump to attach to the bottle and this is exactly how it looks. So I almost wonder if it will fit with a Studio Fix Fluid. Anyways, let's go ahead and give this foundation a try. I'm going to blend out the foundation on one side with a brush and then on the opposite side, I'm gonna do it with a beauty blender. So I'm just gonna apply a little in these areas first. Um, if I need to go in with a little bit more, I will. So I'm gonna be going in with my Sani Beauty Cosmetics foundation brush. And oh, it's looking like it's a little bit too yellow for me, but we will see. I'll still be able to let you guys know how it feels on my skin regardless, um, cause I'm always able to change the color. I completely forgot to tell you guys, this is in the shade 4N62. I'll leave it down in the description box as well, but um, I believe the shade is supposed to be like a deep golden or something like that. I'll double check for you guys, but I'm definitely, I'm, I'll definitely have to go with one shade darker than this, especially because we're approaching spring, summer, and I don't see where this color will really match me in the summer, but it looks really good. I put a little bit more on my brush just to kind of build up the coverage a little bit because they say it's buildable, so I want to see. Okay, so even though it says that it's a semi-matte yet luminous finish, I'm more seeing the semi-matte effect. I'm not really getting any luminosity from it. Really, really nice, really pretty. And it says that it's a, it has a high blurring effect. I'm not quite sure about the high blurring effect because I'm still looking a little bit poresy right here, which is fine. My texture is my texture. It is what it is, but you know, I was expecting high blur. <laughs> Coverage wise, it's really good. I honestly didn't have to go in with too much but it's looking really, really good. It does feel a little bit tacky to be honest with you, but I think it's gonna dry down to more of a semi-matte finish anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on the opposite side. I'm gonna be using the Beauty Blender to blend it out just to see how it looks with the Beauty Blender. So I won't go in with too much, just that much right there. And I'm just gonna go in and see how that looks, if it'll give it more of a kind of a skin-like effect. Typically, beauty blenders give everything a really, really skin-like effect. And this foundation is supposed to be very much like second skin. So that is the look we are going for. I can see where the beauty blender literally kind of sucked up a lot of the product, but it does give like a nice finish at the same time. So I don't know, it's kind of like a, it's kind of bittersweet because the beauty blender does give it a really nice even effect. I'm gonna build it up a little bit more like I did with the other side and blend that out. Ooh. I'm 
Yeah, it looks really nice on this side. I really like it on this side. So this side I did with my brush and this side over here I did with the beauty blender. You guys let me know what you think. Let me know if you guys can see a difference on either side. I can see a difference. I feel that this side does have a little bit more coverage because no product is being removed with the brush. But with the beauty blender, it's almost like it's applying just enough but taking away enough as well. So. I really like this side. This side did dry down a little bit. It still, for some reason, does feel a little bit tacky anyways. Um, the forehead doesn't feel as tacky, more so on my cheeks. Even though I didn't use too much and it's supposed to be like a very second skin type of foundation, it does feel, it feels okay, but it does feel a little bit tacky, 5% tacky, but that's okay because I'm gonna be setting this foundation anyways with some powder, so I'm pretty sure that will go away anyway. It's not too matte and it's not too dewy either. I like something that's like really in between, so semi-mattes are personally my favorite. So I'm gonna finish off the rest of my makeup for you guys just to see how the makeup kind of settles in um, and blends with my other products. So I'm gonna be going in with the Morphe Filter Effect Soft Radiant Concealer, and this is a new concealer that Morphe actually came out with. I've been using it for the last little bit and I'm just going to put it in the center here. It's really nice and creamy and I think it's very suiting for this type of foundation because this foundation is supposed to be very skin-like and this concealer is also, I find, very lightweight. So I'm gonna start down here first. Just wanna let the under eyes get a little bit tacky before I get up there, lining up the chin area. And this concealer really blends up really, really well and I'm seeing that it's going with the foundation really nicely too. I'm gonna set my concealed areas with the Huda Beauty uh, setting powder in the shade Kanafa. I see that Makeup Forever actually has a setting powder as well that a lot of people like. I think it's the HD setting powder. Let me know if you guys have tried it or if I should give it a try. I really wanna know because I didn't even know they had um, a setting powder that people loved so much. So I am willing to give it a try if, if it's that good. <laughs> I'm gonna set the rest of my face with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder just to, you know, set the rest of my makeup. I used some Huda Beauty Glowish Bronzer just to kind of warm up my face a little bit and bring some color back into my face because the foundation was a little bit more on the yellow side. I'm kind of like in between. I'm still golden, but I have a bit of a red undertone as well. So this was just a little bit too golden for me. So I had to make it work. And I'm just going in with a little bit of highlighter right now from MAC. This is called Show Gold. It's kind of like a pinky gold. Almost looks like blush to be honest. So I'm just using a little bit of it. Finishing off my face with some e.l.f. Dewy Mist. Okay, so it's basically been about three hours that I've had my makeup on and I actually was wearing a mask as well and this is pretty much how the makeup looks, guys. It's not bad, okay? I am a little bit oily right now around my nose area and kind of on my forehead a little bit, like T-zone area. Nothing really major though. I can just like blot those areas. Probably could have used like a mattifying or like a pore type of primer in that area. But to be honest, it's looking really good. It looks fine to be honest with you. My smile lines I was a little bit nervous about. Yeah, you guys can kind of see, but nothing lethal. And also, like I said, I was wearing a mask and this is how much foundation came off on the mask. It's not a lot of foundation that came off. I was actually wearing this mask for about 45 minutes. So for 45 minutes, I think that was pretty good. And also my foundation is still in place. I think it'll hold up for a few more hours. Usually by now three hours, it, it's gonna kind of do something that I don't like. And it's looking really good so far. So I would give this foundation a 10 out of 10, okay? Because I even like how it looks even better now that I've worn it for a little bit because it looks a little bit more skin-like than it did before. It got some time to warm up on my skin, so it looks really, really, really nice and natural. Anywho, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, join the Sunny family. Bye.